Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I am going to be doing a general love reading with you and the person on your mind. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we got two cards out already. Oh, I'm going to put them back. I'm hearing I wasn't ready. Okay, we're not ready yet. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message for the Aries Collective. What do they need to see the most right now? What do they need to see the most right now? Overall energy. Overall energy of the connection. All right. I've got two cards again. <clears throat> So it says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. We have give thanks for the blessing of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Okay, so this is maybe something to come in the future. Okay, so let me pull one more card of the overall energy for this connection. We have kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. Beautiful. Oh, something in my eye. Well, let's see here how Aries feels about this person. For the Aries Collective. All right, how does Aries feel about this person on their mind? We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. All right, how does this person feel about Aries? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Mm, okay, somebody may not be in it. Let's see, mutual energy here. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. At the bottom of the deck, we have finances and career. All right, so I'm going to pull some from the Island Time Wellness, give it a little bit more information on this okay so for the Aries what do we have the snake competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman mm. <clears throat> okay um, what about unrequited love there's not enough attraction here. The other person. What do we have for the other person's energy? Twin flames. Wow. Okay. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. This could be what somebody is thinking. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get into it. Let's see here. This is a mutual energy. So in reverse, we got kings, keys, keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional string along one night stand. And it's in reverse. Let's get one more for the mutual energy. Talking in reverse again interested conversing more conversing more awaited messages arrives text call email hoovering a girl with a snake at the bottom of the deck again empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries what is going on here 
this has got me stopped okay to me it could be one of two things Aries this could be somebody that you were in a relationship with and you guys are currently no longer seeing each other you've both withdrawn for the, from the connection you've disconnected it could be because the other person has left right with the unrequited love this person doesn't feel the same as they once have okay we have twin flame here so maybe this is a runner chaser dynamic and this person is running now okay you want to work on the relationship so therefore you're chasing areas you could feel like there's another person involved with this snake energy here i think we got the snake energy out earlier today because we have the other woman areas you could be the other woman Okay, because in the middle of the debt, in the middle of the mutual energy, we do have the keys on the ring. Many options, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Maybe because this keys on the ring is in reverse, maybe this is a situation that started out as a one night stand and turned into something more serious. But neither one of you talking anymore. Neither one of you are talking anymore. There may be an, may have been an argument. And somebody had to pull back, you know, their emotions here. It's really interesting that this person has unrequited love and twin flame energy. It's kind of opposite. They could be confused. Okay. So, Aries, how do you feel about this person? The Nine of Cups. How do you feel about this person? Wow. The Ten of Cups. Very, you have very deep romantic feelings for this person here. Okay. You feel like maybe though they could be in and out, not always showing you those feelings. The Ten of Cups, this is somebody you want to be in a relationship with. You do love a lot. And the Emperor, wow, very strong emotions here. I think you want to be very serious with this person, but maybe you feel like they are not being serious. Obviously, they're pulling back. So what is see? How does this person feel about Aries? Wow, King of Cups here. Even stronger emotions. The star here. Being hopeful, wanting to wish in a star, being a dream come true, really. Let's see, how does this person feel about Aries? And the Six of Cups, a soulmate. This is really confusing. <laughs> this is really confusing me. The tarot is saying that you guys love each other a lot. I think this, the, um, you know, the Oracle cards here are giving a background. <sighs> Aries, I think that you may be jumping to conclusions. You may feel like this person doesn't want to be with you, doesn't want to have a relationship with you, is running from you because there's someone else. You think there's competition. You think they're seeing other people. So hence is why they're coming up as the Knight of Cups on your side. Even though you do really love them, you do want a relationship with them, and you do have really strong feelings for them, I think you're assuming the worst about them. Maybe because possibly your connection could have started in that way. So you're like, okay, if they did this with me, then they're doing that with everyone. I think this person here may feel that the feelings are really strong and that they're afraid of what they feel. That's why the love is coming up as unrequited. That's why they're acting as if they don't like you or they're not showing you as much attention. I think they're running from what they feel. Because this is a beautiful connection that is manifesting currently. But there may it may not have even gotten really off the ground, I think, because of fear. Okay, let's see what the mutual energy is. Just give me one. Four of Swords, just not talking. The same as the retreats, time to disconnect from. Not communicating, not talking about your feelings, not saying what you're thinking, not saying what's on your mind. I mean, how is anything going to be resolved? That was the devil card here. So I think there's a very strong pull between you two but no one's saying anything all right Aries what are your intentions with this person 
the page of wands you want to speak you want to communicate Aries wants to speak look we can't do this whole two-step thing for too long right we got that there's a devil again six of wands Aries wants to move forward Aries wants to speak they want to go out they want to date they want to at least give it a try okay let's see what this is about we are both feeling this chemistry let's just talk about it two of swords here you're confused if you're making the right move you're honestly confused because the person is not giving you that energy they're not giving you they're giving you mixed emotions they're giving you mixed feelings what has what is this person's intentions with aries the strength oh baby they hold in back strong the world here could be closing out a cycle as well or looking to you to start a new one okay what are, what are their intentions with aries seven of pentacles this person is waiting they are waiting seven of pentacles i do feel like they want to invest let's clarify the seven of pentacles nine of swords here they're stressed out they're anxious they're waiting they're holding back very strongly okay let's see we'll, we'll take a look and see why this person is holding back so much what's going on with this person why are they holding back what's going on with this person why are they holding back what is the cause of this it just gave me the strength again and the four of swords again I really honestly think they're hiding the way that they feel because the strength talks about that inner strength right holding back sometimes your words and that's exactly what this is saying your emotions your thoughts but it's not telling me why why is this happening why why is this person doing this oh they're healing from something okay what what's going on ace of wands wow so they do have a lot of passion for you. They do want a new beginning. They're very single right now, but they're healing from something. What else do we need to see here? One more card. Four of Wands. They are closing out a very significant cycle in their life. Could even be marriage. There's the Eight of Cups walking away. The world card again and the five of wands drama. So Aries, you may not see this. This person may be walking away trying to set themselves up for a new beginning. Okay. And they do like you. They do care about you. But they're healing from something in their past. Okay. Aries, you just want to go in and just say, hey, what's up? What's good? But you're not. You feel blocked. You feel like they don't like you. You feel like the energy is not reciprocated. So you're... You're not going to move forward just yet. What is Aries' um, future actions? Aries' future actions. The Ace of Ace of Swords. You're going to communicate. One thing about Aries, they're going to talk. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Aries, you're going to shoot your shot. Okay, Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You are going to shoot your shot, okay? King of Swords here. This is kind of the energy. It's like you're going to go in for it, and if you don't get what you're giving, that's it. That was their last shot. That was their last chance, okay? Some of you, you're going to, they're going, you're going to just tell them off the bat. Look, I've really been feeling it. You, you're going to be open and honest with them. What's good, okay? What are their future actions towards you, Aries? King of Wands here. Okay, so maybe now they're warming up to you. Wow, the lovers. Okay. Gemini energy. And the Ten of Wands. So I think they're going to drop whatever it is that they're going through. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot, Cancer, Energy. They may be going to drop whatever, you know, they are going through, whatever they're experiencing with this Ten of Wands here to start a new beginning with you. What is the Ten of Wands? A marriage. 
They could have been involved with somebody. They could have been involved in a difficult marriage. They could have been a, going through a divorce currently. Eight of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. And it's just like, when I saw the lovers, I was like, Aries, they choose you. That's what I thought. So it really looks like they choose you. Six of Pentacles here. You're probably their gift after this difficult situation, Aries. I do have a feeling energy of this person working on themselves. Ten of Pentacles is clarifying the lovers. Wow. Nine of Cups. So this person, this person wears a good poker face. Honestly. So, Aries, if you know who I'm talking about, this person wears a great poker face. They are not, sh like, ooh. Let me stop. <laughs> it's the kind of people I like, okay? I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. And it's probably really frustrating to you, Aries. But I feel like this is going to be the thing that you actually like about this person. Not that they hide their emotions, right? Not that they hide their feelings. But, but that they're able to separate emotions and carnal urges, sexual desires that they do have for you. They're able to harness that in order to take care of things. This person doesn't think with this head. They think with this head. And that's very attractive. Because you, in the future, if you guys are going to be together, you're going to be able to trust that that person can do that. You want to be able to trust that they can do that. They don't want it to be. I think that's why this one night stand card is in reverse here. They don't want it to be a hookup with you. Okay. They don't want it to be just this, you know, friends with benefits things. They don't want that with you. Even though this person is getting out of something serious. I think this is a serious person. They don't need that dating around and this. And besides, there's too much stuff out there. We're too old for that. Right. We're too old for that. Either, like, like, you just got my number last week. Either we get married or, like, nothing. Don't waste my time. Okay? Not really that fast. But you know what I'm saying here. And Aries, you're in a very serious... You know what you want. Period. Aries knows what they want. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, King of Swords. You are... You know exactly what you want. And you're not playing no games. No substitutions. No in-betweens. Okay? No time fillers. No time caps, none of that. You know exactly what you want, Aries. And it's coming off that this person here, they're not speaking, they're not talking about their feelings. But in, reaction, in actuality, this is your twin. This is your twin flame. This is your soulmate. And it doesn't even look like that on the outside, right? What does it say? Don't judge a book by its cover. It doesn't even look like that. They're coming off as real standoffish. They're coming off as... Um, like they're uninterested even. And Aries is like, what? Me? You're uninterested in me? Right? And this person is just calm, cool, and collected. And taking care of what they need to take care of behind the scenes. And I think they are not going to come forward towards you until they have themselves together. And that's very admirable in a world and a generation where people are very selfish and will not tell you that they're with somebody with a baby on the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is kind of, this energy is not as common as it used to be. This is person here is on their grown woman or their grown man shit. So if you're looking for something serious, Aries, if you're looking for something long term, this person would be it. Okay. Ooh, let me pull some more. Um romance angels and see what's going on here got me all hot in the body we have to make the effort okay we have pay attention to the red flags here and that's what you're seeing Aries you're like okay this person here is showing me major red flags they're playing games they're playing with my emotions what do we have here forgiving and learning and that's what's being highlighted. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Aries, you're being triggered. Release your ex. This is probably what this person is going through. Aries, you're being heavily triggered here with this pay attention to the red flags. You're like, this person here is just like my ex, just like the other one. They play in all these games. They're making me do all the work. We got to make the effort here. We have religious factors. We have this could be the one. 
and I feel like you're being heavily triggered by this person. And so you're either going to be like, you know what? Either this is what it is. We got calling in your soulmate and religious factors. This is like the lover's card here. Um, your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you two together. With this, pay attention to the red flags energy here. The signs are cautioning you. I feel like Aries, you're being really triggered because this person is acting like they're uninterested. Mm. But I like that this kindness card is here. You want to extend the same kindness that you and patience that you would want somebody to give to you. And I feel like that's why this card is here. So just remember that, okay? We got children that came out. Your love life is being affected by children. So maybe this person has a lot to, to think about. There's children involved. It was a marriage. It's not them just breaking up with a boyfriend or girlfriend. They have other factors that they have to think about before they could just dive into something. And Aries, I think you should take this as a compliment, honestly. Because they don't see you as a hookup. This person is probably hooking up with people. I'm going to be honest with you. This person is probably, you know how it is after a long-term relationship where you break up, been together with somebody for years, you want to get your feet wet. And, you know, at this point it has nothing to do with you, right? But it's a great thing that they don't see you as that hookup because this keys on the ring came out in reverse for mutual energy. Neither one of you see each other that way. All right? Um... They don't see you as a hookup. So I think they're waiting to take care of whatever they're taking care of and then come towards you because they see you as wife or husband potential, wife or husband material. So that is beautiful. That's what I have for you guys. I got to go to bed. Um, don't forget to enter the contest. Let me know in the comment section if you would like to enter and I'll give you a green check mark. Um, also, I said Friday, which is probably Friday now, will be the last day that I'm accepting readings. I will be getting back to my emails sometimes tomorrow, sometime tomorrow evening, okay? So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.